welcome in Belgium. Good morning! Well, this is also my friend. This is my keen eye. So sweet. Come on, come on, come on. You picked it up, you go to the middle. Up. Come on. That's really cute. Here you go, come on. Welcome to Cindy's World. Each week from Belgium. Welcome to Cindy's World. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back into the second half of Cindy's uh, recording from last week and uh, we'll kick off with the second half of the questions. So let's get into it. Okay, Cindy, so the next question comes from um, Karen and it says, Cindy, when are you getting married? Not. That's an easy answer. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to the next one. So moving on from that one, the next question then is from uh, Cindy with a double I, uh, and it says, uh, Cindy, who in the USC do you want to fight the most? Well, I do, and they're both Brazilian. <laughs> I want to be cyborg. That's the one, and I want to fight Bethany Correa. That's the two. That one makes sense too. That too. <laughs> so that's nice. I think if they somebody for. Do, do you want to explain the, the best yeah. one? Yeah. The best one. Um. Bete, um, I don't really like Bete, and I almost never have that. Maybe if I know her better, I will do. But the things she said about Ronda's father, and although I do not like Ronda either, you don't say things like that. She's been talking shit to Misha that's like you cannot talk shit about my best friends and uh, I think she's a good matchup for me so yes yeah. that makes sense that's fair enough too yeah okay well we'll move on to the next one uh, the next one is from Rob and Rob says uh, Cindy so what's with Misha uh, so what's Misha Tate's uh, phone number don't tell me 911 and he's got a little winky face Misha Tate's number yep what number do you want? How many kids she has? Zero. <laughs> how many best friends she has? Some. Um, how many dogs she has? Two. That's all numbers. <laughs> There's some good numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, uh, the next one, and then we'll go to the next one. We'll go through is from David, um, and he's got Cindy. Uh, have you ever felt like quitting? When fights are slow to come, what keeps you training? That's a pretty interesting one. I've thought about it. I really thought a million times about like, why am I doing this? I might better stop. It's like, I have to wait and wait and beg for fights. That's not normal. Of course, I've been, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about stopping for sure. Um, but what keeps me motivated at the end of the day is my children's face. See how proud I am. They are. Uh, like my oldest daughter, she's like following in my footsteps everywhere I go, and I'm very proud of that too. I can see. So, yes. what if I show that quitting is an option, then they're gonna think quitting is an option too. So, no, I'm and now I'm happy I pushed through because now I am exactly where I want to be, uh, and I want to enjoy the ride. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, well, the next one's an easy one. Um, the next one says. Um, oh, sorry, it's <laughs> from uh, Men at Work, and it says, Cindy, can I get your number? I don't even know my own phone number. <laughs> I don't know it. How can I know that? I need to call myself. <laughs> oh, but she's volunteering to give. give oh, so her, you're going to give her number out? Ask some candy. That's what she asked. Give me some candy, and I give you my mom's phone number. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll, I can throw See it in the other story if you want. See how supportive this kid is? It is a Yeah. So, the moment she... Oh yeah. The mo the moment next day when uh, like the fifteenth when Teris was not his birthday anymore, he asked he asked my daughter like my sister to touch her boobs again. You know what he what he did? Your bag of candy is empty, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm throwing in that other story from the start then. He's a true. Range. Ah, hilarious. <laughs> He's 16. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she's developing some boobs, like not big yet, but there are some. Okay. So my son was looking at her and he was like, can I touch your boobs? And he was like, well, hell no. <laughs> of course not. And he was like, but it's my birthday. <laughs> and she told him, well, no. And then his daddy asked him, and did you get the candy? She looks at him like, hmm. Okay, two candies. And then she said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> he just pokes it. <laughs> <laughs> Lighter. And then I said, come, this little stuff. Yeah. And then he was like proud of himself because he was like, haha, I didn't like those two candies I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> He gave away the crappy candy to touch the boobs. <laughs> he thought he was so smart. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting birthday present. <laughs> Alright, well the next one... Um, okay, well that's not really a question, that just says KKK. Um, so I assume that means yay or something. Um, that was from Apit Singh? So sorry, Arpit, I don't know what the question is. The next one is from the Sports Card Show. It says, Cindy, how do you think you would have reacted to the late shots Holly Holm took? Or has that ever happened to you before? So, yeah, I guess the oh, late shots that she took uh, from Jermaine. I had like an illegal knee in my face once. Oh my God. Ouch. Oh, I felt so terrible. Um, because I'm not, I'm not a... Like, I'm a clean fighter, so I understand Holly's feelings after the fight. Of course, the thing is, you always have to protect yourself, and I know, but like, that's not, just not how it works. When the real bell goes, you want to go sit in your corner and listen to the people to advise you, and you're, you're like, you have to do that quickly because you only get one minute, so that is normal that your, your uh, attention is not there anymore. Uh, now, I know Germaine a little bit, and I don't think it was really in intentional, but I don't think she really wanted to stop either so yeah <laughs> you know like adrenaline. when you're doing something it's like going nice that yeah um but um i don't think she did it intentionally at the end of the day though yeah, in the no. moment yes um yeah but i would feel like very bad to like call you actually if something like that happened to me because she was like wibbling i don't know what yeah yeah like. she got rocked she got rocked yeah after the after one of them and uh that's like that is hard to come back from that. So, could have. Yeah, well, you're, you're the kind of fighter. That you, you have a very, a very good defense when it when it comes to throwing throwing off shots. Like in your last fight, you got a cheap shot thrown at you. Yeah, anyway. me. <laughs> you just you just grabbed around and took it to the ground anyhow. Yeah, but the problem is like, if if you run like uh, that like uh, like that at me, it's like oh, present, thank you. But no problem, I can have it. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll move on to the last question. Um, okay, the very last question is from Obsessed with Thongs. <laughs> so it's going to be an interesting one itself. Um, it says, Cindy, do you wear thongs um, during your fights or would that be uncomfortable uh, during combat? And do you have a lucky thong? So like underwear thongs, like I, I, like, I wish know, I had thongs um, to wear for my fights. Like the skinny But no, I don't wear thongs ones. when I fight. Because, I'm gonna tell you the secret, why not? I have a reason. Because, sometimes when people pressure on your belly, you have to fart. <laughs> and when you had a wake up, you had a wake up, if you ever had one, you know, from like, cutting weight, no fat, no, no fat, no fat, no fat, and you eat again, the fart sometimes sneaks in not alone. 
<laughs> and like a thorn doesn't give enough protection. So no, I'm not wearing thorns. In case, worst case scenario, it happens. <laughs> it of course makes a lot of sense. In Dutch we say, in Dutch we say though, better a skateje for iedereen than buikpijn for me alleen. And that means better a fart for everyone than painting my tummy for me alone. <laughs> Uh, you've just ruined every single 18 year old boy's dream, you know that. Oh, well, <laughs> I never got that! I, we we had guys coming in our gym be like, oh, I want to grapple with the blonde one. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. Or with my daughter, she's very pretty. Oh, yeah, I want to grapple Cindy's daughter. <laughs> no, you don't, there. The moment your head is between her legs, you, the yes, you, said, you, you want, want is a that's all that you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that you want, you don't want to be there. You want to be between your legs, no, you don't. <laughs> This is gonna be like, oh, that's the noise they're gonna make. <laughs> I wanna grapple your daughter, okay? Be my guest. <sighs> okay, Dom. I don't wanna grapple her anymore. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. I can imagine. I can imagine that would happen a lot. <laughs> that's excellent. Well, that's the last of the questions. So we're all done. That's good because I have to go to Eddie now. All right. Thank, okay. thank you for taking the time. I know we held you up. And we'll get you to say a very quick um, goodbye. Thank you to everyone. Okay. For the next time. Okay. First of all, I want to say yay! Finally, I'm in the UFC. I'm so proud. Um, please follow Perfect Team MMA. That's my gym. So everybody in Belgium who want to be training MMA serious, that's the place to be. Sorry, the rest have to walk in our footsteps. And um, to all. Moms out there, me and Alexis are showing that being a mom doesn't have to stop your dreams. That's it. Oh, and now you're doing your vegan, so who, who's your vegan thing? Yule. I'm using Yule. I'm like uh, not eating meat anymore. Um, and uh, so they send me all kind of great stuff. It's it's actually really working. I'm so surprised. It's, uh, it's very good. Um, of, that doesn't mean that I don't want to eat meat anymore. Of course, I I still miss it, the taste of it. But I still feel energetic enough to train and work out, and uh, that's very important. So it's good stuff. Get it. All right. Well, we'll make sure people tease you with like lots of pictures and hamburgers and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank okay, you very much. <laughs> good night. Bye. Bye.